Hey everyone, my name is Tasia. Welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. We're going to be planning in my Hobonichi Weeks again. I have, like I said, I've just been using this planner every week. Oh, that week was a little sad, but <laughs> um, anyways, I'm gonna be using my Busy Bee Kit in the week of the 22nd. And yeah, let's get started. It's been so busy around the office because we just came off of the Ultimate Planner planner sale. So the ultimate planner sale was last weekend. And so we have just been working non-stop to get out all the orders. So that way we would be completely caught up by the time um, I go to Vegas. Because I'm going to Vegas next week for Go Wild. I'm really excited and really nervous at the same time. I'm trying to pre-plan um, all of my like things for work. So I won't need to work as much while I'm there. And it's really hard. You think it would be really easy to pre-plan everything since we're planners, but I just feel like I'm gonna forget something. <laughs> so, let me see, 21, 22. Um, yeah, so I've been just pre-scheduling things as like little reminders in my phone and taking photos for Instagram and things like that so I can still keep active. Um, but I feel like I'm gonna get to Vegas and go, oh my gosh, I forgot to do this oh see what i'm doing i'm pulling off the wrong numbers i'm descending put that just stick that there so 22 23 but i think once i get there the stress will kind of lift it's the anticipation of making sure that you packed everything that you needed and that you planned everything you have everything once you get there i mean there's nothing you can do about it so I'm really excited. We're gonna be doing the confetti carpet at Go Wild, which is really fun. It's on the last night of the event and it's just like a big pajama party and we do this big confetti carpet. It's like a red carpet and you get to throw confetti. We have professional photographers there and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I have a fun twist on the confetti this year and I think it's just gonna look really pretty in the pictures. I cannot wait. I will try to get on Instagram Live uh, or some sort of in the stories or something to, to show what's going on because it's a lot of fun. Um, so we have the date covers down. I'm gonna go ahead and put these bottom washies, which is super cute. I thought this kit was perfect for this week because it's the Busy Bee kit. And boy, oh boy, we are a busy bee. The week is, we're halfway over in the week, so this video, you're gonna be like, you're talking in the future, you're talking in the past. <laughs> That's what's happening. I'm doing a little bit of back planning and I'm doing a little bit of pre-planning. So, get this one down. And then we'll put the top washi down and then we'll start moving into the rest of the kit. I always say I like to do the perimeter of my planner first. I think it's just the easiest to get down. You kind of have a little bit of a foundation on how you want to work it. And I'm also spinning my planner upside down when I do this side of the page because I am going from this line as my marker and not the date covers because the date covers are a little wider. Um, so that way they could accommodate those rainbows. Put that, and then we have this one. I don't know how I'm going to do this side of the page. Maybe, gosh, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep a column of functional stickers like the schedule and my habit trackers and things, and then on this side it could be just a long list of things that I can't forget to do before I leave. I think that would work the best. Next up, I'm gonna put down these um, little checklists and I'm actually going to be using my tweezers. Thank you guys so much. Last week I mentioned um, how I wanted the crafty type tweezers because they don't put a pinch in um, your sticker and so many of you reached out with links and all kinds of good stuff. So needless to say, I went shopping on Amazon. Uh, I don't have them yet though. They shipped to the office and I forgot to bring them home, so. I always have to ship everything to the office. Our mailman here at our house is terrible. He's always bringing our mail to a neighbor who lives several streets down. And the only reason why I know it's going to her is because she is kind enough to drive down here and 
drop off the mail when he makes a misdelivery, which was all the time. I would go down there and mention it and they would be like, oh yeah, I see on the GPS he was outside of her house when they made this drop when I would be missing things. So I just stopped shipping packages to my house and I'm just, um, I ship them to the office, which is still kind of scary because I get important mail via just the regular, like an envelope. So who knows what other mail I'm missing. I, it's kind of scary to think about. Thankfully, we won't have to deal with that much longer because we're moving, but yeesh. Hopefully the other, uh, our new mail person is really good. I'm, I hope. The last place we lived at prior to this one, um, the mail would deliver so early in the morning. It would deliver between like nine and 10. It was the best thing ever. Um, I love, <laughs> it was just so nice not having to wait here. It comes maybe like five or six o'clock in the afternoon and you're like, jeesh. One time, I swear it came at like eight o'clock at night. I don't, I, this poor guy was working so late. I, oh, but let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the checklists. I definitely am gonna be using all of the checklists this week because it's going to be super busy. Um, let's put down. Okay, so I am going to, how do I wanna do this? We'll put this at the top. And I'm just gonna hug it all the way over to this side. So that way I have this column on this side as wide as it can be. So we have that full box, which is crooked. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I put this one down straight if it will accentuate the crookedness of that sticker. Ah! Oh my gosh, can you guys hear Pixie running around like a little banshee? She loves running around upstairs. We have carpet upstairs, um, and it just makes her sound like a big dog. <laughs> she, her, her, uh, it just sounds loud. I think she really enjoys it. I haven't talked to you guys. Um, I haven't mentioned it actually to anybody, but we are getting another, or another puppy. And she was just born on April 20th. She's a little Maltese. We're gonna name her Minnie. Um, so we get to meet her in four weeks. We get to go over to uh, her house and meet her and give her a little blanket with our scent on it. And then on um, in June, when she's after she's eight weeks old, we can take her home. I'm so excited. We're gonna be in our new place. Um, Pixie is like really rambunctious and it's still kind of, she's older, she's going to be, oh my God, how old is she gonna be? Either 11 or 12, but she's still so spunky and she, as much of a jerk as she is, cause she thinks she can kill everybody, she has a really bad attitude, <laughs> she's really smart and she never makes messes in the house and she just knows what to do. Um, so I'm hoping that she can instill or teach the little puppy everything she needs to know. Of course, we're still gonna train her, but the only thing I'm worried about is that she's gonna teach the puppy to be a jerk to everybody. So I've been trying to take Pixie out um, in public and when I take her out in public, she's so scared that she's fine. She doesn't try to um, attack anybody. Where's my blade? I just saw it. Hang on, guys. Here it is, had to tear up my desk for it. But anyways, when we take her out in public, she's no problem. She will walk around Home Depot, she'll walk around Michaels. Like, we take her um, to our the realtor who's selling the house uh, that we're buying. She lets her pet her, it's no problem. But as soon as she gets comfortable and thinks that the area is hers, like we go and we look at the new place quite often just to make sure everything is on track. And at first she was nice to the construction workers. Now she shows up and she hates them all. <laughs> so I don't know what it is. She is, um, you know, she can be nice. She just chooses not to be once she gets comfortable. It's really irritating. Okay, I'm not gonna pull that up even though it's crooked. I just started to rip the page, so I'm just gonna leave that there. And now, let's move on into, how do we wanna do this? I'm gonna put this to-do sticker up here. So I'm gonna put this down first, and then I'm gonna put a sparkly sticker on top of it. And by sparkly sticker, I just mean that, that washi tape that I get from, um, 
rose colored days. I just need to find it. Story of my life. I just need to find it. <laughs> I'm just going to put this up here like that. And so this is the um, washi tape. I show this all the time. It's perforated, so it rips off in one and a half inch wide pieces. If I can get it going, where's the edge? There we go. So, although sometimes I rip the pieces like I cut them and then I'm stuck with this odd shaped piece so I have to pull that off. So like that. So it's super easy to work with, especially if you're working with one and a half inch wide boxes. If you're not though, it's really easy. Like I said, you can just cut it. But I'm just gonna put that over it like that. I don't know if I like that, but that's okay. We'll leave it for now. And then let's put, I wonder if this, this sticker would look really cute right there. Although I wanna layer it with some Simply Gilded washi tape. I feel like this is a rerun of last week or maybe this really fun holographic. Let's see what this one looks like. I think this one came in like one of those tubes from Michael's where you can get a whole bunch at once. Like an accent piece. Put that down, double. Anything, I'll use this blade. We are almost all packed up, so I thought I left out all the essentials until I start to actually need them. And I'm like, why did I pack that? That makes no sense. I'm gonna put this sticker here. It says one thing at a time, because I definitely need to remember that this week. I get overwhelmed really easily. Scoot it over just a little bit. So that's cute, it just adds like a little bit of an accent. I feel like it doesn't look as empty or just kind of floating or out of place when I do that. So now we have these check boxes, which are a little different than the normal. We have the push pins and then we have the washi tape. So I'm gonna run those all along the side, keeping them as far over as I can. And I don't know if I want to, do I want to keep them all on this side? I really don't know what I'm planning on these yet. So maybe I'll just put this first one down and then we'll kind of go from there. What's my problem? <laughs> I can't put it down straight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, that's fine right there. Okay, so to write in the planner this week, I'm going to, I can't remember if I've ever tried using my Pilot G2. I really need to use one of these note pages in the back um, to just do a pen test. But I have this pen here, and then to write on the stickers, I have my Pilot Ultra Fine Permanent Marker, which is, as always, I always say this is my favorite for writing on the stickers. When it comes to vinyl stickers, you wanna use something permanent or something like a ballpoint pen. I've used my Colettos in the past, and they work, you just need to give them a bit of a dry time or like a pen gem pen, you know, that ballpoint type of pen. So just keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and fill out our weekly schedule and our blank habits first. Just get that out of the way and then we can move on. So um, for the habit trackers, I need to plan, I'm taking, I'm in my cycle where I need to take um, my progesterone. So I'm putting that on there because I need to take that every day for 14 days. And then I also need to work on my water consumption because I was doing terrible last week. I was getting the meanest headaches. So we need to work on that. For the schedule for this week, um, it's kind of like a free-for-all, so I'm not going to put um, Zach and I's work schedule in there because really on Monday, we went in at like, I left the house at 3.30 in the morning and then Zach stayed, so we split our hours so we could stay there as long as possible. He stayed until about 8 p.m., so it was a very, very long day. Um, so I'm just going to plan maybe our meals on that um, sticker there. So for Monday, 
we did a beef stir fry and then for Tuesday we're going to do chicken and potato fried rice which is super easy because I've been I swear I have a memories of it was like the first thing I cooked on my own when I was little my friend would come over my friend Rachel and we were we just thought we were the coolest thing because we could make fried rice my mom would let us make fried rice so we do that and then we have hash patty it was funny because we just thought we were like little chefs and we would just throw in whatever and somehow we were always super impressed with ourselves. I don't know if it actually tastes good looking back, but it made me um, actually know how to make it really well now. So <laughs> we have that. On Friday, we are doing a lot of errands and we're going to be running out towards um, the area that has the restaurant called Roxy's and Roxy's is like a Hawaiian food place. And anytime I'm in that area, I really like to get something from them so we're gonna do that and then on saturday i almost wrote taco bell we're not doing taco bell we're doing taco salad and then on a sunday it's going to be fend for yourself which normally consists of either leftovers or simon or something really easy like that so now that that's all taken care of, I've been trying to think um, how I want to run the to-do list. If I just want to make little asterisks, or if I have, I know I have a washi tape. I really don't think I left it out though. Um, that is like a checklist. No, I did not. I have these little glasses, but that would take up way too much space. So I have these little hearts, but then they're going in the wrong direction. I think I'm just gonna leave it and I'm just going to um, write with my pen. Lots of note pages. I just want to do like a little test, but I don't wanna totally, oh look at my pen, my pajama ideas. I wanted to make my own shirt and uh, I just ran out of time, but it, I almost had the team awkward where it had George on there. <laughs> So let's just write in here really quick and give it a minute, a second to dry. Oh yeah, it does take quite a while to dry. It's like still showing up on my fingers. But I really like the way my hand writes with this. Gosh, is it still? Ah, we'll try. So let's go ahead and work on that to-do list. Okay, so I need to make sure that I film the spoiler for the, um, or not the spoiler, but the reveal for the Kawaii kit. I hate that I have to crinkle the pages, but I really can't write for some reason on the edge like that with my hand on a different level. It needs to be all level. Um, also, when it comes to the Kawaii kit, I'm gonna put a little arrow because as I do that, I need to make my YouTube thumbnail. I need to make my website banner. I need to take my photo for Instagram. And I also need to make my Instagram story photo and my Facebook photo. Ooh. So the only reason why I need to pre-prep all of this is because I'm gonna be out of town and it launches on the first. So I'm leaving on Monday. Zach will still be here, so he'll be able to send me stuff, but that boy, he cannot take photos. So <laughs> make sure that I get that done. Um, next up is that we are starting a new PR team on the first, so I need to make sure that everything is locked in for that. I, I mean, we're all on the same page with the team, but I need to make sure that I have all of the information. So I'm gonna schedule the PR announcement in Facebook. 
Oh my god, how can I abbreviate announcement? Oh, I guess I'll just put a hyphen. On Facebook. And then I need to schedule $2 Tuesday. I also need to schedule freebie Friday, especially that because I am going to be speaking on that day. So I'm sure my mind will be in a bajillion different places. Freebie Friday. Next week, freebie Friday is super cute. Of course, you guys can kind of already tell what it's going to be because the 4th is May the 4th be with you. So that's like a dead giveaway. <laughs> So we have that. I need to set up um, the PR discounts, make sure those are all ready to go. And then I need to schedule the new releases. They're all designed, but I need to make sure that they're ready to release on um, the website. Schedule new releases. Um, what else do I need to do? I know there's more than that. I need to confirm. Oh, gosh. It's crazy because, so I come back on the 5th and then on the 8th we do kind of like a preliminary walkthrough of the house and then we close this week and then we move this day and we need to be completely out of our house on this day. So I just feel like it's going to be, if I don't pre-plan now and get as much like pre-scheduled and ready that I can do, it's going to be a hot mess oh, when I get back. So we're gonna leave that for now because I'm sure there'll be more, but that's good. Um, and then let's work on our week. So for Monday, all we did was print and pack. And I'm just going to put an arrow through the whole thing because that's literally all we did, <laughs> even on Tuesday. Um, but on Tuesday, I also had to do a few other things. Um, so that would be order mailers. Order postcards. And then I need to troubleshoot the subscriptions. Uh, we've been having problems with um, the subscription not, it keeps telling you that the password is incorrect and the password is not incorrect when you're like trying to log out. It's incredibly frustrating and it's, they did an update on Sunday or Saturday and it's since they did the update, it's just been a total disaster. So I have been bothering them every day and they keep telling me, no, it's not, it's fine on our end. It's not fine. So I am going to put George smashing a computer on that day because it is totally fitting and then for Wednesday we have someone coming in to um, maintain our AC unit at work if we don't maintain the AC unit at work every year like do some sort of filter maintenance then they don't cover it under warranty so we have to do that um, let's see AC but back to the um, subscriptions, you can, it's working now. I had to lift something on my end, which is made things like a little frustrating, but the fact that you can actually check out is amazing because that, I, who knew? Like technology is great when it works and when it doesn't, oh my goodness, it's terrible. So anyways, um, I'm just trying to think what else is going on Wednesday, Thursday. I know that I have some appointments, so I'm going to write that down on this cute little thing here. And I'm actually going to write it on there before I put it in. 
and I'm going to finally get my brows cleaned up. I haven't touched my brows in forever because I was, I maintained them really well for a while there and then they started to, I have alopecia, right? So um, something with my autoimmune, uh, long story, but anyways, I all, I don't have very much hair on my head and then my eyebrows started to fall out so I stopped touching it and we have I think we have uh, tightened things up and my eyebrows are back to normal thank goodness I couldn't imagine I can't draw them on I would look either really surprised or like really angry every day if I had to draw them on myself so we're gonna put the brow appointment and that's at 2 p.m. I really like the girl that I go to. Her name is Jill. She's really nice and she like knows what's going on with me. So it's just, it's such, it's so much more comfortable to just deal with that. I mean, someone who already knows. She lets me put the hair clips in myself and d just to get it out of my face and stuff. And it's just, it's so much more comfortable. So we're going to do that. Oh crap, I put that on the wrong day. Thank God these are repositionable. Put that on Thursday. Thursday, I also um, need to replace the lenses in my glasses because they got scratched. Um, so, do fix glasses. And then, ooh, on Wednesday, I need to update the banner to a beach banner. And on Thursday, because Friday is trash day, we really are going to clean out the pantry and the fridge. So that way we don't have anything unnecessary that we need to move with. I think I need some decorative stickers there. So I'm going to sift through my stash here. So I pulled out my um, snail mail mix the video planner and my luggage because I'm going to be packing this weekend. When it comes to um, working in the Hobonichi, I like the itty bitty stickers, but actually when it comes to the icons and I want to fill up a nice big space, I like to use the regular size stickers because um, they kind of just, you don't have so much going on. So that's a regular size sticker as well as this one. And then on Wednesday we're In the orders. Put a cute little group. Oh, starting to smear. I noticed that my fingertips have all little black dots on them. I think it's because I'm pressing on um, the pen. So, um, for this day, I just remembered that I did have to pay a bill that day. So, I'm going to put my little bill sticker. How do I want to put this? Well, let's write on it first. Pay insurance. We'll just layer it like that. And then for Friday, so Friday we're running a lot of errands. I need to do a donation where you have one last haul to take to Goodwill. I've been really getting real with all my stuff. <laughs> so if I haven't touched it in a good amount of time, I am just sending it on its way. So Goodwill, we need to return our Comcast boxes. We canceled our Comcast and we signed up with Sling. Um, so far, I like it. We're saving a lot of money for sure. With Comcast, it was like a hundred something dollars a month. Um, and then with Sling, they're having a 40% off sale for three months. So we're paying $15 a month now. And then after that's done, we'll be paying $25 a month. And while we don't have all of the channels that we used to enjoy, there's enough. And we just got like one of those digital antennas to get our local channels. So we are going to be doing that. And then I also need to, um, 
go shopping because I <laughs> do not know what I'm going to be wearing at Go Wild when I'm on the panel. And I'm a little nervous because I'm going to be in front of like 1,300 people and I really need to find something that I feel comfortable in. Um, so we're going to go clothes shopping. And poor Zach, I don't have any friends, <laughs> so he has to come and give his two cents on... Um, my choices <laughs> so he's like my shopping buddy i'm going to try and find i know i have a sticker where poe and Bo are shopping and i want to say there's a single sheet oh there it is it's on one of my past freebie fridays actually this turned into a two dollar tuesday <laughs> we should make one of these a little boy though for zach like that and then Saturday, we are packing the suitcase. Ooh, that is a big suitcase. Maybe I will use the itty bitty for that. <laughs> Let me see. Let me write on it first. So, we want to print and fill Thursday's orders. We need to film the kawaii kit. I need to wait until the weekend to do it because sometime around here the cards are actually going to be coming in. It comes with a bonus item. Um, and so that needs to go in there. And then pack suitcase. Ooh, that little E got a little wonky there. This feels like it needs something. So I'm going to put... This cute little bee. Oh, I do need to buy more Nespresso. That little bee just reminded me we're out. I'm just gonna put buy C pods. And then we have these little full boxes that I can still use. This one says when you focus on the good, the good gets better. Instead of a little suitcase, I'm just going to put this little party bee. That's cute. And then I want to use another one of these boxes. Sunday, what's going on? Oh. We'll use the white one. Double check. And that means just to double check all of the things that I already pre-scheduled. I feel like I need to double, triple check it a ton because that would be the worst to not be by my phone. Something go up and it be wrong and I'm not able to fix it. So we definitely need to remember to do that. And then Sunday, I don't know what else I'm going to be doing on that day. We're definitely going to be um, prepping. Oh my gosh, I know what I need to do. Um, I need to remember. Actually, I'm going to write this over here. Um, I need to remember the table sweat because I'm donating to a couple tables. Um, so... I need to do that. Cynthia is going to, with Wonton and a Million, I'm going to be um, donating something to her table. Her table's going to be so cute. I think everybody's table is going to be amazing, but I'm really excited for her theme because it is a, uh, I really like her theme. It's a cute idea. So I put that over there. Back to Sunday though, we are going to be prepping. What is making my pen? I need my little pencil board. I don't think I... There it is. Put that there. 
So we're going to start um, or finish prepping the kawaii kits. Man, that sticker back there is really honking up my writing. So, oh well, <laughs> prep kawaii kits. And then I need to, um, over here, remember the confetti. That would be a disaster. Most of the confetti is actually already in Vegas. I shipped it directly there because there's tons. Like, I shipped about 25 pounds there, and then I have another six pounds here. <laughs> we are going there will be more than enough confetti. So that, and then I need to remember my gifts. So prep kawaii kits, and then we need to clean the machine so they will be ready to go. And then we need to schedule my Uber pickup because Zach won't be able to drop me off. I feel like Pixie gets really worked up uh, when she knows that I'm going to be going, she knows I'm going to be going because my suitcase is going to be coming out. So just to keep things a little more like nice for her, I know my world revolves around her, but we're good. I'm scheduling an Uber. So and it's early in the morning. Zach has to go to work, and then Shawnee's going to be in the morning. It's just a lot easier that way. So that is what is going to happen. I'm going to put a little sleepy bee at the end because that's cute. And then what else? I have more space here, but I'm definitely going to think of more things that I need to do before I go. So I'm going to leave that empty. This to me is feeling a little blank, but I only have like really sassy stickers left on this sheet. I have the meh uh, buzz off and then the flipping off B. And to me, oh, you know what would be really funny? Is this instead of this bill sticker, or maybe I can move the bill sticker off to the side, but put the little flipping off B. I'm canceling my insurance. It is so terrible. We pay so much, and we get nothing for it. It's, I, 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 this is yucky. Like that. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. And then maybe we could use one of these pens. I found these while I was um, getting ready to, when I was packing up all of my things. I haven't even opened them yet. I don't know if they write well, if they show up or anything like that, but I think this purple would look really cute, especially if I did, where's that pajama page? It's like towards the, Oh my gosh, that's so faint. What is this purple pen? That is really, really faint, which I mean is good because it doesn't show through, but not so good because you're not really going to see it, but that's okay. I guess I'll try. I just want to do like a little cloud around it or something. Yeah, whatever. You can't really see it. That's okay. I'm not gonna miss that dog. Can you guys hear him? <laughs> He's a real loud mouth. So, oh, you can barely even see that. That's okay. That is about it, you guys. Let's call it quits. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe. I do plan with me's every week. And sometimes they're a little scatterbrained like this one because I have so much going on. But for the most time, it's just like a really fun chit chat. So... Yes, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!